storied life underwater over 6,000 hours, climbing into massive suits, piloting tiny subs, diving deeper and longer than any woman and most men ever. She took her first breath of compressed air 60 years ago. And when Harvard launched a two-week underwater project in the 60s, she was among the first in line. The head of the program, he said, well, and Professor Female, I guess we could put him with a few women. But they couldn't just leave it alone. No, we were the alpha babes. Yeah. We were the alpha chicks. We were the alpha girls, and they even got this great name, the Aqua Naughties. She is 77 now, still thirsty for understanding, still giddy that Aquarius lets her stay out on the reef for four, five, even eight hours a day without worrying about decompression sickness. So good that you're here. She originally fell in love with ocean plant life, the microscopic algae responsible for every fifth breath you take. But over the years, her wonder has been steadily replaced with worry. Once vast pockets of thriving, teeming life are getting increasingly hard to find. A warming planet is changing the acid levels in the sea, killing coral reefs. Pesticides running down the Mississippi and the deep water horizon disaster have stressed the Gulf of Mexico in unprecedented ways. determined to sound the alarm on the kind of rampant overfishing that has driven some species to the brink. Whole ecosystems that are destroyed by the trawls scrape the ocean floor. <laughs> Can you imagine um, a farmer taking apples by mowing down this you know, apple orchard? That's what we're doing to the ocean. Being in this setting with you and, and your passions, this is like asking a cat lover, do you eat cat? But do you eat fish? <laughs> Have you ever eaten fish? Yes, I've done more than my share. I mean, I grew up in a family that loves seafood. Yeah. But I can't do it anymore because of what I know. She's concerned about all the pesticides and mercury floating out here. One reason she says ocean study is more vital than ever. But research money is drying up. Florida International University scraped together enough to save Aquarius for now. But there are no long-term guarantees. Every minute, the federal government spends between six and eight million dollars every minute. So half a minute. Let's have a half a minute. <laughs> that was the federal budget. I just want to thank you for this. Thanks to Bill for that 